Hello Bliss Beauties and Babes and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my cleaning schedule with you as well as these super cute and affordable cleaning baskets. If you want to see how I keep myself organized or more videos like this, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe so you don't miss more, and let's get started. To start off, I wanted to show you my red cleaning basket that I use for the kitchen. I like to keep all of my baskets organized by color so that no matter who is cleaning what, we have all the right tools in all the right places. For the kitchen, I really like using these white erasers for the cabinets. I like using this big scrub brush for the stove, and then this other style scrub brush for the sink. Of course you can buy these tools anywhere, but I picked all of mine up at the Dollar Tree. I also like using these two spray bottles for my DIY cleaners. If you want to see that recipe, leave me a comment down below. And lastly for this bucket, I have gloves and extra bottle cleaners. Moving on to my living room cleaning bucket. Here's an overview of what I keep inside. I like to use the Febreze for the couches. I always have a clean microfiber cloth in here to do some dusting. Also in this bin, I have the cup that is used for my floor steamer, and then more color coordinating bottles to go with my homemade cleaning solutions. And this bucket stays in the hallway in my linen cabinet. And lastly, this is my blue bathroom cleaning bucket. Here's an overview of what I have inside. I have some glass cleaner in here, this brush I use to clean the sink, and then this bigger brush I use to clean the tub. I also have this scrubbing bubbles shower foamer. That works really well on the grout in the shower. Another DIY cleaning solution, and of course some Ajax. I'm always really interested to see what everyone uses for their cleaning supplies, so leave me a comment down below and let me know some of your favorites. That is everything for my three cleaning baskets for the house. Now let's move on to the cleaning routine and schedule. First off, I want to mention this super cute printable from Hello Cuteness. I've used their printables for so many years, but unfortunately, I think they closed their site down a few years ago, which is such a bummer because I find that using printables like this that are really cute are very helpful for my organization. I was thinking about coming out with my own printables, but I wanted to know what you guys thought, so leave me a comment down below and let me know if you guys would want to see something like this. So to start off on Monday, I always do my grocery shopping. This also includes cleaning out the fridge. Also on Mondays, I tackle mine and my husband's laundry. On Tuesdays, I vacuum and steam mop the entire living room and hallway. And I also continue on into Wesley's room and do the same thing. And lastly for Tuesdays, I wash Wesley's clothes. On Wednesdays, I don't do any cleaning. I spend the morning at my mom's house helping babysit my nephew. And I'd say that's enough work for one day. <laughs> Thursdays are my lazy days. I just focus on dusting, doing the mirrors, and tidying up the coffee bar. On Fridays, I focus on the master bedroom, which that includes our bathroom, and as well, the room I just vacuum and mop. And just make sure our room is clean for the weekend. Here I'm writing out my everyday tasks that include the dishes. I try to vacuum every day. We do the trash and recycle, do the compost, and just pick up the toys. Next is bi-monthly. I do the sheets. I clean the coffee bar and the computer room. And monthly I do the coffee machines and clean out the cars. On Saturdays the boys bathroom gets cleaned up. And Sundays is the deep clean of the kitchen. That includes the stove, I steam mop, I clear all the counters and wipe them down and sanitize them, I clean and sanitize Wesley's toy corner, and I wash, dry, and put away all of the dishes. Quarterly, I clean underneath the couches and sweep and mop and find all of the missing toys. I clean the big windows and then as well I do a declutter. And lastly, biannually, I do the drapes. So that is everything for my cleaning schedule and routine. There are weeks when everything on my list gets done and I feel so accomplished. And sometimes my week gets busy and it might not look like this, but if I aim to keep a schedule like this every week, on the days that I don't feel like doing it or maybe I was just too busy to do it, it's okay because the next week I know that it's already scheduled, it's already planned, and I'll follow up with it. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below if you want to see me create my own printables. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe, and share with your friends, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye guys!